Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm the owner and creator here at All Things All Happy. And today we're going to be working on a peekaboo tumbler. There are different ways to create this effect. I used a glitter on glitter technique. I thought it was going to be easier, but it wasn't. It was actually harder. So join me as we get this tumbler started. All right, so we're going to use a 20 ounce hog skinny tumbler. This is what I'm using today. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to sand it lightly. Then we're going to take some alcohol and we're just going to clean it. Okay. See? Once it dries, we're just going to add some pink acrylic paint. This is the Americana one gonna paint this nice and even coats all around the tumbler all right we're gonna just let this dry right, so now I'm gonna do another coat of the pink just because it's just a little too streaky for me all right this looks pretty good so we're just gonna let this dry and then so once this is dry we're gonna add some Mod Podge I'm gonna use the same brush that I painted it with. I'm just gonna spread this all around. I really didn't want to drop any. You wanna make sure you put on nice, even coats. You don't want it to be streaky. Just want a nice, thin coat. And so Mod Podge dries really quick, especially at the edges here. As you can see, it's starting to dry off really quickly. So we just want to make sure we go all the way around, make sure it's all wet, nice and thin. All right, what I'm going to do is an extra fine pixie pink. Look how pretty this is. Make sure you get it at the edges where it dries first. And just get it all the way around. This is so pretty. And then we're just gonna tap the excess off and then we're just gonna let it dry. It's really pretty. All right, so now that this is dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more Mod Podge. You wanna make sure that your first layer of glitter is dry. Otherwise it will clump up. It'll scrape off and then just begin to clump with this second coat of my Podge, which is what we don't want because it's not a good look. It's always so much easier putting on the second coat. It just doesn't dry as fast and you could see it better. We're just going to do nice, even coats. Make sure you get your rim because that is where it dries first. Okay, so once that's dry, I'm actually going to do the multi-size mix of the pixie paint glitter. Actually, let me shake it first. And then we're just going to start sprinkling it on. And then we're just going to tap the excess off and then I just use my finger and I just go around the rim to make sure that none of the larger chunks of glitter is sticking up because when we go to epoxy it and then we cut it off we don't want that look so we're just going to take it off that's perfect it's so pretty all right I'm just going to just dry for a second and then I'm going to take it in the parchment paper and I'm going to roll it Not too much force, just a little bit. Just wanna make sure that the chunky piece of it is not sticking up. So when you go to put your epoxy on, it'll be easier and it'll lay flat. I'm just gonna let this dry and then we're gonna put a layer of epoxy on it. And 
I am going to use about 25 mLs on top of my tumbler here. And I'm using the Illuminite Amazing Quick Coat. And I did 12.5 of part A and 12.5 of part B. And as you can see, it's nice and clear. And then when we begin mixing it, it gets cloudy. And then we're gonna stir until it gets clear again, which is about two minutes. And you just wanna make sure that you don't see any swirls or anything in there, it should just be clear. Okay, now that we are clear, we have some bubbles, but nothing crazy. Just want to make sure you are wearing your PPE, which are your gloves and a mask. Because even though this has no scent to me, it is toxic. Okay. And then I'm just going to start in slow, controlled pours here. And then just slowly guide it. Once we're done applying the epoxy, I'm just going to hit it with a blowtorch just to pop any bubbles that are coming to the surface. And we're just going to let this turn for about four to five hours. Now that my tumbler is done drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it because it's actually not as smooth as I would like it for the next step. So I'm going to sand all around the edge and the bottom until it's nice and smooth. All right, now that I have sanded my tumbler, I'm just gonna clean it with some alcohol. Um, but I do wanna say that if you resined your tumbler and it came out smooth, you do not need to sand it and reapply the vinyl. But you just wanna make sure it is nice and smooth, okay? Mine was still a little bumpy, more bumpy than I would have liked. So I am just going to um, reapply the resin. Okay, now that my tumbler is dry, what I did was I cut out some hearts with some stencil paper and my image I cut out in a stencil as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these onto the tumbler. So this is my wording. I'm just gonna go ahead and center this. And I'm just going to randomly place the hearts around the tumbler. So I just created an image myself. I just wrote up, give me some sugar. And I did an offset of it. So what I'm going to do is after I paint it, when I remove the stencil, I will place this on after I resin it. So for now, we're just going to place the hearts in random spaces. There's no rhyme or reason on how I'm placing these. I'm just putting them wherever I see a blank space. Just I'm just eyeballing it on what I think looks good. All right, once you have your stencil down in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the entire tumbler a blue color. And I'm just using Americana's Desert Turquoise. And I'm gonna need a little bit more. The hearts I got online on through Etsy. I'll link that below. She has actually a bunch of different um, designs, just Christmas trees and just everything.
I'm just gonna paint over the entire tumbler, over the stencil, this blue color, because I'm gonna be using a blue glitter on top of it. You can also uh, spray paint this if you'd like. It's a little cold outside, so I decided to just use paint. All right, once you have your tumbler completely coated with the paint, we're just gonna let this dry. It doesn't need to be perfect. Like you'll see there's some pink showing through here. It'll be fine. So we're just gonna let this dry. All right, and now that our tumbler is dry, what we're going to do is we're gonna use some of the Tack It Over and Over glue. So it's a, it's a tacky adhesive. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give us just enough stick so that we can sprinkle on the glitter and rub it in. You don't wanna use a lot, you just wanna use a little. So we're just gonna put this on. And we're just gonna brush it all over. It's not something that you need to work fast because it dries fast. It actually just stays tacky. So once you finish brushing on a thin layer of tacket, we're just going to go over with a glitter. We just want to coat the entire tumbler in the glitter. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we are just going to rub in the glitter into the tacket. And what begins to happen is that it flattens, but it gives off a really high shine. And we're just going to do that over the entire tumbler. All right, once we have that all done, this is what it's going to look like. And we're all done, it's gonna look like this. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush just to brush off any excess. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly start peeling off the decals that we've put on. When that happens, I just take some tacket and I flatten it out so it's a really thin layer. And then I just sprinkle on a little bit more glitter. And then I just rub it in. Okay. Let's see if we can get these off. I just wanna do it slowly. And you don't wanna to wait too long after you've applied the glue because it will start to dry. And then when you start peeling off your decal, it'll start peeling off the glue as well all around. And you won't get a really nice image like this. So the area where more of the heart came off than I wanted to, I just put a little bit of tack it on. Just use a really thin paintbrush and I just flatten some on. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some glitter. Lightly rub it in. Brush it off. Then once it dries, I'm just gonna use a little scraper and just go around to make the the heart. But I just want to wait a little bit until it dries. I'm just gonna take my hook and then I'm just gonna scrape along until I like the design of the heart that it matches the others. I'm gonna use 25 mLs 
I poured 25, but I may not use it all. So I did 12.5A and 12.5B. I'm using the Illuminite Quick Coat Epoxy. All right, I'm gonna begin pouring. And I like to use um, small controlled amounts. I want to say that I used about 20 of the 25 mLs that I poured. I'm just going to hit it with a torch real quick just to pop any bubbles that come to the surface. And we're all done. We're just going to let this roll around for about four to five hours and then we will come check it. All right, now that our tumbler is dried, we are going to just sand down a bit around the edges to where we're going to put our vinyl. We want to make sure it's nice and smooth so we don't see any bumps underneath the vinyl. Just going to clean around the top edge of the tumbler. Take off any excess resin that's on here. I'm just going to Take a fine grit sanding block and I'm just going to sand around the edge. Just want it nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to go around the heart areas just in case there's any little bump. Just going to sand it nice and smooth. We have to put another coat of epoxy on this. So anything that may show, you know, rubbed out here with the sanding block will be covered. You're not going to see it when you put another coat of epoxy. I just go around and feel where there, you where you may need just a little buffing. Like I said, this is a fine grit. We don't want anything coarse because we don't want to scratch nor go down beneath the resin. Just lightly sanding it. Once you're done sanding, I'm just going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol. I'm just going to wipe it down. I always get nervous when I need to mix two different color of glitters and is it gonna match is it gonna look good together I always get nervous but it actually looks really pretty together I have to say these two colors this is a new glitter color the green one well the teal one um I haven't even released it yet I haven't even named it yet but that's gonna be out shortly but it's so pretty and this is pixie pink this pink but what we're gonna do now is, let's clean our workstation here. We don't want anything getting underneath the vinyl when we're placing it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to um, begin placing our hearts. Now I'm only going to need the edge, but I don't want to throw out the center because it's actually a really nice heart. So I just want to do the outside. So I'm going to see if I can do it this way. And then we're just going to slowly put it right over the opening here. Look how pretty. I'm loving this. This came out really pretty. All right. Let's 
forget your bottom one. going to push these down to make sure they're nice and flat. All right, once the vinyl is in place, we just want to seal it. And I use the uh, CC DIY Quick Coat. And I just put that on all the vinyl. And I just go back and forth and up and down to make sure I get all angles of that vinyl. This is to prevent the epoxy from getting underneath the vinyl and from the vinyl lifting. Once we're done sealing the vinyl, we're just gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes. Now that we've finished applying the vinyl all around, what I noticed was here on the wording where the vinyl meets the teal glitter, it does not meet up. So as you can see, the pink here in between we don't want to see that. Sometimes you do this process and it's perfect. Like with the hearts here, it comes out perfect. There's no in between, you can't see anything. And sometimes this happens. And when this happens, it's not like you need to discard the entire cup. Oh my goodness, I need to strip the cup. All right, so what I decided to do was I reprint, reprinted my vinyl image larger. So I did a 1.5 offset. Now I'm just gonna push it down. Make sure it's nice and flat. So you can either peel off the image that you had on, make a larger offset, or you could have Take in the rhinestones, like if you didn't have enough of the vinyl, you could use the rhinestones and just went all the way around your image to fill in that paint gap. At first I was going to do the rhinestone, but I was able to find some more vinyl, so I just thought I'd reapply, um, cut the vinyl at a larger, offset. These I kept here just in case the other ones were no good. And I lost my E, the inside of my E, so I kept the one on here. So I'm just going to move it so it's centered more. All right, so now it's all covered and I'm just gonna apply the CC DIYs sealer onto here and then I'm going to resin it. Our tumbler is now completed. I didn't show you, but I did add another 25 mLs of epoxy resin after we applied the vinyl. Mm -hmm. I didn't need to recoat it because it is nice and smooth. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, even with our little glitter mishaps. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to read them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Good morning and welcome back to my... There are two... There are different ways... I'm trying to achieve. Are you almost done there? Shush me. Hi guys.